Hi guys, it's me Christy here from Goddess Gallery. So today is a crazy schedule. So today you're going to get a recording for your paint session. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm playing catch up on a couple of paintings. So the Mother Mary painting, I never got a chance to finish because I've been so busy. However, this is where I am with her right now. I'm going to go ahead and work some more on her and uh, let's see what I can do. All right. So we're in our comfy little spot today. And then I do have a little bit of music playing in the background from Pandora, Happy Radio Station. And it sounds like a little bit of Credence Clearwater Revival from Pandora, which uh, we should be able to play that and still have them uh, post this without deleting it because of the background music. So I am going to go ahead and work on her braid right here. As you can see, I put a little bit of darker right here. So I'm going to go ahead and work through her braid. I'm not sure why, but this is just how she ended up. So let's see what I can do with that. Move these little guys out of there. And I'm going to add a little water to this so I can blend this. I put some uh, a little bit darker brown in here. Because the, uh, the brown that, that I have, when it comes out of the tube, it looks very much like uh, red. Sometimes that happens. So this says brown. It says brown right on there. However, when you open it up, it's really quite red. So I went ahead and added some uh, more brown to it, a darker brown there, to make this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to play with that, add a little water to this. There we go. And I've got a nice small brush there. You could see that. And I'm just going to come through here and I'm going to put some strokes uh, in her braid for definition. Put my little towel on here so I don't smear any of this because some of this is chalk too. So. I like that. There we go. So it's making it a little bit darker, as you can see, and you can see the braid start to form there. I enjoy that. That looks a little bit better. It was way too red. That brown was not a brown at all. It was a red. So. Coming through here a little bit more. I'm just redoing pretty much the whole a braid right because it was not uh, what I had envisioned for it to look like and I feel much better having this uh, darker that makes me a little bit happier with that coming up through here a little bit making some shape to that braid there we go I like that
And I'm not being real uh, particular about how much of uh, the braid that I fill in because if I leave it with some light, you can see some light spots in there and that helps give it a little bit more definition. And then I think I might come through and do some lighter strokes for highlighting that too. There we go. This uh, this is adding a lot more definition like I had hoped. Kind of giving it separation. Just coming through here and I'll go over this bottom part on her braid just a little bit more so that uh, you can really see the ends of that so as you can see there I've got that filled in quite a bit more you could see the twist in there and I think I'll do a little bit more up here too as you can see, maybe the blankets might be moving down there. The doggies are up here with me, as always. Just adding a little bit more of this uh, brown mix with that other color that was supposed to be brown. much better. This is a little more fluid. I like this a lot better. All right, come down just a little bit further on this one. And then uh, since her braid is here on one side, you know that hair piece is going to just disappear. Just like that. See that? See how it just went around? And then it just sort of, I just tucked it in here because, you know, her hair is going to be pulled behind her. So I could come down a little bit further. Just like that, how that disappears right into there. Because, you know, uh, back here, this is where her hair is going to be pulled over. Do a little bit right there. So I think I'm liking this uh, quite a bit. And then I can come back through and do some little strokes, right? And then add some uh, blonde or some other colors for the highlighting. There we go, just like that. That looks really nice. I like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, or I'm going to do, is going to go ahead and blend the blue. So I will do that, and I'm going to use, uh, I think, a medium brush on that. So I think I'll come back to this guy right here. Uh, I don't even know if this has, this is a number 10 is what this one is. Rinsing that out, as you could see, I had used some Gizo on my painting. And so then, therefore, uh, there's a little bit of color in here. But that's just Gizo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the uh, regular number 10 brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and just come through here and blend where I've used my watercolor crayons. These guys. And I sketch lines. And I'm going to use this and just... Uh, blend that in real beautifully.
just making it a little bit more fluid, you know. Coming through there. And as I go a little bit, you know, I'm going to touch down on that black that's underneath. Because uh, I just learned of the Gizo. So I'm going to come real careful through here. Make sure that I keep uh, rinsing my brush so that I don't pull any of the black through. Because I just want to blend the uh, blue. See how I'm just blending this through here? Just like that. Blending right along. Just softening these lines, you know, just a bit. I really love working with those watercolor crayons. They're kind of fun. And I like how it gives me the freedom of making this very ethereal and whimsical. My paintings tend to be pretty, pretty whimsical and ethereal. There we go. Yeah, coming right along with that. See how that's coming along very nicely right through here. Blending right through there. Just coming right through here. And you might see Sadie there underneath. She's trying to get in here like, uh, where's Waldo, right? This girl likes to be everywhere I am, so she's always right here with me. As she tries to shove her way underneath this table, which hopefully she won't be able to do. There we go. Okay, so I've got that blended fairly well. I think I'll come on this side now. Our puppies are like our children, aren't they? All right, I'm going to come up here to the top. Do a little bit of blending around her crown here. Just softening this with the uh, wet water brush here. Um, since I already used the watercolor crayons, they're already on there. I want to make sure and blend this lighter blue very nicely. Not so much the darker first because I want to make sure and not bleed them together and lose those lighter strokes. Beautiful. And you know, guys, uh, as long as you try, that's all that matters. So don't be so hard on yourself if your paintings don't turn out perfect. That's how we get better. We practice, right? Practice, practice makes perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to go ahead and blend up here on her, on her cape, if you will. I think that's what this ended up being is a cape. Just playing right through here. And doing a little over on this side. A little more over here. Blending that all in. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
All right. Blending that through. I have a little bit of white over here that I want to uh, soften a bit right here where this line is. I don't want to omit it. I just want to soften it. Okay, now come up here. Just blend this blue a little bit. Okay, so there we go with that. So that's blended very nicely. I think now what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, see if this is dry enough. It's pretty dry. Wait a couple more seconds. So I think I'll go ahead and work on the yellow out here and make this a lot brighter. It's a little bit too... Uh, it's a little bit too pale for me as far as the amount of yellow that I want. So let's see what I can find in here. This is a nice, beautiful yellow. Yes, it's yellow ochre. Perfect. Well, I would really like to add some white to that, though, so that I can make that a lot brighter. So I'll go ahead and put this on my... Uh, canvas here with some white to brighten that up a bit. Let's see if I have one already made open. Nope, oh, that's a brown. Here we go. So I found a beautiful, uh, this one is a uh, yellow ochre as well, but as you see, they look pretty different on the tube. So I'm not going to trust that. And I want to go ahead and make a really yellow one. So I will, uh, I'll go ahead and add this particular yellow ochre. Still pretty dark. We'll put that right here. And then I'll add some white to it. And then we'll see how yellow I can get this. That should be enough, I think. I think I want to go with the big one, too, on this. I'm going to move this back over here. I'm just going to blend these two together. See what kind of yellow I can make. Hopefully something bright. It's still pretty yellow, or pretty, uh, pretty dark, as you can see there, right here. So I'm going to add more white to that. I'd like a really bright yellow. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that with the color that I have. However, I will give it my best shot. That's a little bit better. There we go. It's fairly pale. It doesn't pop like I would like. However, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It'll work. It'll work. It's pretty, pretty pale. So let's see what we could do here. And as you could see, I'm just uh, filling in where it already was. I still want to add some more yellow here uh, later. Because I did have this whole, this whole area was done and then it just wasn't quite as bright as I was liking. So I wanted to redo it and you guys know how I feel about it. If you don't like it, it's all right. Just redo it, right? All right. A little more water on there.
Okay, bringing this down in here a little bit more of a circle here. There we go. It's a little French music playing in the background. I like it. It's very artsy, isn't it? A little bit of French music while you're painting. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, the yellow has kind of changed a little bit, but I like it. I like it a lot. It gives it a nice uh, defined halo. And maybe I think I'll just go out a little bit further, maybe. Let's just add a little bit more, get some paint on here and make sure I have enough so I don't pull that uh, black because I don't need any more black in here. And I'm okay with the, the streaks pulling that through. I'm going to add some more white. So there we go, giving that a much brighter halo. I like that. We'll do a little bit on this side now, too. And there we go with that one. Come down through here a little bit. Beautiful. Look at that. I like it. So that's a very good halo going on there. And then as that dries out a little bit more, now let's go ahead and come down here <coughs> and see about, is that quite dry yet? That should be okay. Well, I feel pretty comfortable with my blending on my blue. So I think at this point I could go ahead. I want to add a little bit more line through here so I can define this and I'm going to do her face. So let's see what I can do. Let's see what happens. You never know. I'm going to turn it this way so I could let that part dry. And then from there, I'm just going to put my little towel up here so that I don't bump anything and smear any paint. And then I'm going to come in here and just do her little face. And I think I'm going to do that with... Uh, Let's see, how about if I do her eyes first? How is this guy gonna work? Maybe I will use a very, very tiny brush if I can find one. You know, I may be able to do it with this one. That might work okay. So let's do that. Of my little pencils everywhere. So I have my black here. And as you see, I've got my face ready. And I'm going to do her eyes. So I've just got very, very little on here. Don't know how much water there we go is on my brush. So better get a little bit of that off of there. All right. I'm just going to come through here and just do some eyes. Let's see what I can do. All right.
And I don't draw first, so sometimes they don't turn out as perfect as I would like. However, that's all right. Make this one bigger. And I'll just come through on this side and make this one a little bit smaller. So it almost looks like shadow. And then I'll come through and put some flesh tone back over that uh, to lighten that. I don't want her to look like she has a makeup on. Okay, so there's the general shape there of our eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of more paint on here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeballs. Oh, yeah. So you can see I've got her eyes inside of there. Can you see that? I've got those little tiny lines right here. Now I'll go ahead and add a little bit more here to her eyes. And I'm also going to do uh, her mouth and her nose. So let me work on this eye a little bit better. Got to be careful, though. I don't want to overdo it. You know. And I'm going to just do a real faint black here. And I think I will come back through and put some light over the top of that as you could see I'll show you here in just a second uh, I'll do some blue I believe on here that will uh, brighten this up either blue or green green might be nice green's always good okay so I have a little bit too much color on there so I want to take some of that off Beautiful. There we go. All right. So we can see how her eyes are coming along. See that? Pretty little eyes. And then let's come through here and do her nose. Now, the nose is a little harder for me because I'm not real comfortable with doing faces yet. So I think I will go ahead and skip down to her mouth. And uh, I would like to make her lips like a little bit pink, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this flesh tone that I have here already. And then add a little bit of this brown in here. So I've got this already here. I'm going to get this wet. Uh, and just break that up. It's a little bit dry. However, I'm going to add a touch of this beautiful brown. <laughs> and a little bit of white. There we go. And I think that should work just fine. So I've got this beautiful little color right here. It's more of a fleshy color, but it's a little bit pinker. Uh, and so I want to do the, her lips with this so that I can uh, go ahead and add some color to her lips right here. So let's see what I can do. And as you hear, there's a very belligerent dog down below thinking that he needs to be the center of attention. 
Well, if you need to come up here, come on. So I'm going to come through here. Just add these beautiful lips. Hi, Will. All right. So I've got the lips right there, as you can see. Come on. For whatever reason, he thinks he needs to be invited. And so uh, I think her mouth might be a little bit too high. So I think I'll paint over that and bring it back down here. That's okay. No distraction there because of the dog at all. Or I could just bring her chin a little bit in and then make this more of her neck. And you know what? I think I might just do that. I think that'll work. So I'll just bring this in a little bit right here. Uh, I should probably use the same color and do some shading so that I can make this a little bit darker, right, for a shadow. So let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do, making it a shadow. Working with this a little bit here. Oh, that works. See that? I've shortened her chin a little bit there. I barely see it. That's all right. I'm going to add just a smidge more of the dark in here. And a little bit of water. And we'll just go ahead and bring this right down here. So there's a shadow, right? <laughs> 